Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Do you have a photo and you need something removed from it, like this garbage can? On this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. I often get emails from people asking me how they can remove something from one of their photos. Most often, they're travel images. For example, they're in Japan and they took a photo of a pagoda and they want a garbage can removed that's in the shot. Well, it's kind of difficult to explain how to do it in an email. So I thought I'd do a video or two where I go over the different tools and techniques that are available in Photoshop that will allow you to remove just about anything from an image. Now we're going to start out with this image here and we want to remove that garbage can. And to tell you the truth, it's not that difficult. Um, so first of all, let's take a look at what we got. We're going to zoom in. I'm going to hit the Z key on my keyboard to go to the zoom tool. I'm going to click with my left mouse button on the garbage can and just drag my mouse to the right to zoom in. Not that much. And uh, then I'll hold the space bar in and we'll reposition it so it's right in the middle. Now, really the difficult part here is the ladder. We need to make sure that this edge of the ladder is preserved, this edge here, and the steps. We don't want to replace any of the wood. We just want to replace the garbage can. So what we need to do is get a selection of the garbage can. Now, most often I would use the pen tool for this, but... The pen tool is a little tricky to use. Once you know how to use it, though, it's relatively easy. And I know that most of you probably aren't skilled with the pen tool yet. So I'll select it using a different method. Uh, maybe down the road, if you are interested in me doing a video on the pen tool and how to use it, I will. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you'd be interested in. So before I do anything, though, and actually select that garbage can, I'm going to duplicate the background layer by hitting Command-J on my Mac. It's Control-J on your PC. Now, instead of the pen tool to do my selection, I'm going to use the Quick Selection tool. The keyboard shortcut is W on your keyboard. And the Quick Selection tool is right here. And when you hit double, just W, just make sure that you're using the Quick Selection tool because in that little cubby are three different tools. So the Quick Selection tool is right in the middle. Now what we're going to do is I'll get a little bigger brush by hitting the right bracket key. And then I'm just going to select the garbage can. And as I alluded to, uh, the selection isn't that important on the left side in the top and part of the bottom. Where the selection is important is, is along this uh, ladder because we don't want to uh, eat in any of that ladder. We don't want to replace any of that wood that, from that ladder. Um, now, I over-selected over here, although it really doesn't matter on this side, but if you over-select, uh, just hold the Alt or Option key, Alt if you have PC Option, if you have a Mac, and you'll get a negative brush, and you could remove from the selection. Now, we need to select the part of the garbage can that's under the ladder, so I'm going to get a smaller brush by hitting the left bracket key. We'll do this part here, and it over-selected a little bit, so I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key in, and just... Make sure it's just got the garbage can. Like that. It's good. Now it overselected on that side, but that's okay because that doesn't matter. We just want to round that ladder is where it's important. All right, now it overselected a lot. I'm going to hold the alter option key in and get rid of a lot of this selection. All right. All right, that looks decent, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the Select and Mask dialog box to further refine the selection. To do that, we're going to go up to the top and click on Select and Mask, and now we have the Select and Mask controls over here on the right. Now, what I want to do is I want to make sure that there's no blue of that garbage can left along the side of the ladder. So the, really what I want to do is shift the edge out. So we have a selection, and if I slide this shift edge slider to the right, what we're doing is we're shifting that edge out, away from where that garbage can was. And 
as I mentioned, on this side, it doesn't matter, the top, but right here, what we're doing is shifting it out. We're going to bite into that wood of the ladder a little bit, but that's okay because if we had a little thin line of blue from the garbage can there, it would be very difficult then to remove it. So I want to just make sure that we're really just going to be uh, getting all that garbage can gone. And it's okay if I just shave off a couple pixels of the ladder because once we're zoomed out, you really wouldn't notice it anyway. What we'll do is we'll, zoom, we'll uh, smooth the selection as well. And um, that's all right. What I could do up here on the top, it just under selected a little bit. And I want to make sure we have that. So we'll get that as well. And I think we're good. Now we're going to output the, um, the selection to just a selection. That's what we want. And we'll click OK. Now we have a selection. Now with this selection active, even if I get a brush tool and I get a nice big brush and I'm painting in red, if I click on the, on the garbage can itself and start drawing left, you'll see once I go outside the selection, it doesn't draw anymore. Now if I go this way, you'll see just inside the selection is what will be affected. So I'm going to hit Command Z to undo that. So what we need to do now is get rid of the garbage can. And I'm going to do that with the clone stamp tool. So S is the keyboard shortcut for the clone stamp tool. I'm going to be in normal mode, opacity of 100%, flow of 100%. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with the more difficult part right along this uh, beach line right here. So I need to get a target first. To do that, you hold the Alt or Option key and it's Alt if you have PC, Option if you have a Mac. I'm going to click way over here to the left once. So I have my target. Now, when I go over the garbage can, you'll see that there's a little image of where I clicked on the target. So I could line up that beach line, click with my left mouse button, and just draw right across. And now I could go above, and I could just get rid of the garbage can. Like that. Now this part here, I'll go back to the left of the, again. I'll click with the left mouse button right about there. And then I'll come in, get rid of the rest of the garbage can. All right, we got rid of the garbage can, but we're really not done yet because once I remove those marching hands by hitting Command uh, D on my keyboard for deselect, it's Control D on a Windows computer, you'll see that we have some very distinctive lines there. So what we could do is we need to kind of get rid of those lines and there's a, duffel, a couple different uh, tools we're going to use. First of all, I'm going to start out with the um, spot healing brush and that has a keyboard shortcut of J on the keyboard. And there's actually three tools that have the J uh, keyboard shortcut, the spot healing brush, the healing brush, and the patch tool. And often these are in their own cubby together. And, um, in the past, there was an upgrade to Photoshop, and when I got that upgrade, they were all separated out here, and I never bothered to put them back in a cubby together. So make sure you're using the spot healing brush. And we'll come in as we'll try to soften that line, uh, like along the top, that worked pretty good. But where it's not going to work very well is like at that edge. I'll do it down here. But where that edge is right here where that beach is so what we're going to do is we're going to get the patch tool for that now the attributes we want content aware a structure of one the higher the structure is the harder the edge will be so i want the structure to be relative or the edge to be relatively soft so we'll go with a structure of one and a color of five is fine and what we're going to do is we're just going to draw around this line right here so we'll draw like this now once you complete that selection, you'll see we have the marching ants. And it's kind of implying to you to move this to the left or right. And what we're going to do is we're just going to click on it and move it to the left like that. And then let go. And then it will do its magic. And I'll hit Command D to deselect. And you can see it looks pretty good. Maybe right in here. And what we could do now is we'll go back to the clone stamp tool by hitting the S on the keyboard for the clone stamp tool. I'll get a smaller brush. Then what I want to do is change the mode from normal 
to lighten. And then what I'll do is I'll just uh, sample right here by holding the Alt or Option key in there, get a sample, and then I'll just kind of come in here and uh, like that. So we're kind of varying our look there. We could also go back to the spot healing brush as well, kind of soften it up there, make it look natural. Now, the next thing I want to look for is I want to look for anything that uh, was repeated, a repeating pattern, because we were clone stamping uh, stuff going across. So there's going to be um, things in the scene that I probably copied. And it looks like, like right in here, it's kind of copied over in here. So what we could do is just use that spot healing brush on that, make it just look different. You know, and that, if it doesn't look right, you could go back to the clone stamp tool, go back to normal mode, and then you could sample somewhere else and just come in and sample somewhere else and just make it look different. So you could sample from various places and make things look different. Now I'm going to zoom out by hitting command zero on my keyboard to fit the screen, command minus, make it a little smaller. And there's still a little bit of a line there. Uh, so I'll take that clone stamp tool. I'll sample right here and come in here like that. So you could just kind of finesse it, uh, use that spot healing brush again. And that looks pretty good. So uh, there it is. We got rid of the garbage can and it looks natural. Very easy to do, as I mentioned. And again, um, most often I would do something like with that with the pen tool because the pen tool really allows you more accuracy. But the pen tool does have a little bit of a learning curve. But once you learn it, it's relatively easy to use. If you're interested in me doing a video on the pen tool, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I could do. In a future video, I'll up the ante a little bit and I'll get rid of something in a scene that is a little more difficult. Same tools and techniques will be used. Uh, that's most often going to be the quick selection tool or the pen tool sometimes. Some type of selection tool, uh, the spot healing brush. Sometimes you would use the regular healing brush and the patch tool. Those are what you would most often use to get rid of stuff in the scene. So there is a before and an after. Before, after. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.